Luckily for Rusty, there was easier prey to be had. This time. Red kangaroos and wedge-tailed eagles share the same territory. And when the eagle has a chick to feed, the hunting never stops. More than 10% of the eagle's diet is kangaroo. Rusty is now eight months old and a full-fledged Joey, a juvenile that spends all his time outside the pouch. In a few months, he won't have mum's milk to rely on anymore. will start tapering off his milk supply because there's another bun in the oven and it needs the nutrition. Mum's body now produces two totally different types of milk. A more dilute one for his tiny sister and a richer one for him. Each dispensed from its own nipple. But males like Rusty are about 10% larger at weaning than the average female and are heavy drinkers. This is the kangaroo version of tough love. Rusty's mother cuts him off completely. Her milk is needed elsewhere. Rusty is off to explore his wider world. Before long, he happens on another group of kangaroos. These are grey kangaroos, smaller than reds, and more suited to areas where the climate is relatively predictable. They don't conserve water as well as reds and prefer the shade of the wooded areas on the desert's edge. Rusty is apparently a new experience for them as well. It's like a get-together with distant relatives you've heard of but never met. Slightly awkward. And here comes another branch of the family, Wallaroos. Marsupials somewhere between red kangaroos and wallabies in size who frequent the rocky outcrops looking for shade and water. If you live in a desert, water is a treasure and its presence is never guaranteed. With no true seasons in this part of Australia, the only certainty is unpredictability. A waterhole is a gift from the heavens for many creatures. Emus, Reds and Wallaroos all gather to drink. But the relentless sun is turning the mud around the waterhole into clay, laying traps for the unwary. Rusty is not driven by the same intense thirst as his grey cousins. Reds have a kind of super kidney which concentrates their urine so they hold on to more water. While the greys have to drink more regularly. Their thirst sometimes drives them to unwise decisions. This young grey is in trouble. 
Deep trouble. And he's drawing some unwanted attention. A dingo. Dingoes will gladly take a young kangaroo under any circumstances. A joey stuck in the mud and unable to flee. That's just too good to resist. The other kangaroos can't help him. His fate is sealed. Even at the tender age of 18 months, Rusty has the good sense to get out of Dodge in a hurry. Now he's on the road again, in search of a good meal. He's still an adolescent, and burning through energy at a faster rate than an adult. Kangaroo mobs can number in the hundreds, but this one is relatively small. And Rusty's appearance on the scene has caught another male's attention. They're around the same size and the same age. Perfect sparring buddies. Game on. But this isn't a life or death battle. here will be crucial in later life when the stakes are higher. Long arms for wrestling win fights and females want winners. Rusty doesn't come out on top this time, but the boxing experience is invaluable. At this age, the learning curve for a kangaroo is steep, 